Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, spring's here. Goatee's gone. We cleaned it up for the summer. Cool look, right? Fat chin. But hey, I was about to do a video. I got a 97 Nissan Altima. 100,000 miles. Decent shape. Customer's complaint is it stalls. Uh, intermittent stall at the light. Starts right back up. Um, I went to do some preliminary checks, which prompted another video. I want to show you the frustration of some of these scanners. We've, we've said it before. Sorry for shaking the camera. We've said it before. You can't just have one. Sometimes, again, they, they, they don't do what they're supposed to do. They're not designed to do something th certain things. And sometimes you just get a glitch. I want to show you my glitch today. So watch this real quick. All right. I have my Ortel. I'm going to plug in my wireless VCI. Or something like that. Some like to call it, I won't mention any Keith names, likes to call it Awful Tell. Um, I like the tool, but it does have issues. Don't they all? Keys on, we're plugged in. Stay with me. Oh, let's back up. Let's back all the way back. Yes, I want to quit. Yes, I want to go all the way back. Let's just go with Auto Detect. Here comes the frustration. You see that long pause? That's an indication that something's going wrong. Usually it would have connected by now. Which may lead to the thought process that we have a communications problem. Maybe we have no power at the, the DLC connector. See? And even if I go in I'd, I'd manually punched in the VIN number. Let's do it this way. Control unit. So the thought process becomes, okay, maybe we have no power to DLC, maybe we have a communications problem. But as always, let's plug in something different. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. fancy. Just plug something else in that should be able to read. Even just a code reader. A different scanner. We'll entertain this for a second. It's going to fail. Kill me. I only have like seven cars here. And this thing's going to give me a problem. Now just to verify. Like I said. Open this door. We're going to unplug this. And we're going to plug in. Ye old Cheap code reader. This is a. Older cheap. What makes this? An Ova. I literally use this to, when I do, um, when I try to uh, reset the readiness monitors, I'll take this with me because it's cheap. I don't mind banging it around. It's got flashing lights. And as you can see, it's got a code in it. It does work. So my cheap, whatever I paid for this $40 tool works, and my big expensive Ortel does not. But one thing I have found, and I'm going to plug this back in for a second, and here's what he, I want to get a hold of the guys at Ortel and choke somebody. Because this is simple programming, and I don't know and I'm, if this will even work. Reboot. Yes. I had this happen. In fact, I think I mentioned it in another video. I had it happen with an 07, uh, 07 Honda Civic. Wouldn't connect. Oh, look, there's my reflection of the camera. Hi. Um, wouldn't connect. Drove me nuts. Wound up using a different scanner, it worked fine. I wound up just having to reboot the Autel. It shouldn't be an issue, you shouldn't have to do that. Obviously. Technology should be that. We should be past that. Sounds like something Microsoft would tell you. Oh, just reboot it, it fixes everything. I'll try this one more time. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, which will lead us to another level of frustration no I'm getting a hint that it's not going to work it's 
Cue the uh, Jeopardy music. Nah, there's no way. It would have done it already. What is the moral of the story? Moral of the story, have more than one scanner. Just because it costs a lot, a lot of money doesn't mean it's going to work, and it has nothing to do with it. It's, a, it's an aftermarket. It's an hotel. I have a launch that will do the same thing from time to time. I've seen Snap-on do it. I've seen, I've heard about the OE tools doing it. Uh, I'm not fortunate enough to have any of them, but I have enough friends and seen videos where they just don't work. I'm, I don't have an answer for that one, other than just have more than one tool. And if it don't jump to conclusions because your scanner won't communicate and look to start whipping out. Even a test light, just just plug something else in first. Obviously, it works. My cheap scanner connects. I'm going to go get the launch. We'll hook that up. We'll see how that works. And hopefully, I can still turn this into another diagnostic video as to why this car is stalling intermittently. A um, little bit of information. I hope it helped. Just, uh, you know, if you're getting frustrated at your scanner, it won't communicate. It won't do something it's supposed to do. Just put it down. Get something different. It happens. You you don't think it's don't think you're doing anything wrong. You hook it up and you're trying to check ignition misfires on a six cylinder. It's only showing you four cylinders. I've had that too. Um, I've pulled up AB uh, wheel speed sensors and it's showing me left front, right front, left rear, no right rear. Doesn't the PID's missing? It's stupid. It shouldn't be that way with today's technology, but it is. So don't overthink it. Stick to the basics. Pull out a different tool, even an old one. I uh, I was watching somebody recently. They pulled out an old Snap-on red brick, an old 2500 to do something. I still have one. I'll pull it out if I have to and use that. I mean, I, not on this, but... So, be flexible, uh, adapt, and uh, I hope this helps something. Maybe we can still shoot a video on this thing. When I find a scanner, that works. Be well. Enjoy the warm weather that's coming. See you soon.